What's going on, TW fans? Thomas here. Welcome to another What's New at Tackle Warehouse. Thank you for tuning in. As always, to check out all the cool new stuff with us, we're going to jump right in. we got some interesting stuff to talk, talk about today. First one, interesting indeed. we got a new one from OSP, straight from Japan. This is the OSP Dice Rubber Soft Bait. So pretty interesting little soft bait here. So this thing is actually engineered and made to uh, be really efficient and successful at bed fishing. So you're gonna to wanna to use your favorite drop shot hook, a uh, wacky hook, and you're gonna to toss this thing in weightless and just put it on that bed. The fish is gonna cruise over, check it out, and be like, what the heck is this thing? So I know that's what I did as well. Give your rod a little twitch, a little shake, and it's gonna get bit, absolutely. I was a little skeptical at first, and then I watched Fujita put the absolute hammer down on him at Lake Seminole at a Bassmaster Elite Series event earlier this season. So we know this thing actually does work. I mean, it's just a rubber dice. It's a square rubber dice with a bunch of tentacles coming out of it. So it's going to move, uh, and, you know, kind of give a lot of commotion in the water, push a little bit of water with really no imparting of, uh, of motion from your rod. So if this thing is just sitting there by itself, it's still going to give you a ton of action. So kind of a do nothing bait. So again, fantastic bed fishing bait. Uh, meant to be fished weightless, but you could absolutely throw this on your drop shot rig, uh, maybe even drag it around on a little Carolina rig, something like that. So just kind of a finesse, little bite-getting bait. Available in two different versions. What I have here is actually the non-salt version. They also have a max salt. Really, the only difference is going to be a little bit faster rate of fall and a little bit larger profile, a little bit heavier. So it might be a little easier to cast as well. So if you're fishing, you know, kind of some deeper water, you might want to go with the max salt, salt version. But either one, it's going to get you a ton of bites. Again, great. I mean, I know bed fishing season's kind of over. Maybe if you're way up north chasing some small mouse on the bed still, I don't know. But uh, you know, this thing is just going to get you a ton of bites. So maybe you're a tournament guy fishing behind, you know, a co-angler fishing behind the boater or just a really pressured lake uh, where they're just seeing a ton of lures. I don't think they've seen anything quite like this one. So give it a try. Try it out. I think it's going to get you a ton of bites. Pretty cool new one straight out of Japan. All right, let's switch gears here and talk about a little bit of piece of terminal here. We've got a new jig, this time from Outcast. This is the Outcast Float and Fly Jig. So again, float and fly, you know, great for cold water, kind of winter. But uh, I mean, you can still use these things year round, get, get a ton of bites. So this one's actually a collaboration with yours truly over at Tackle Warehouse. So the team at Tackle Warehouse helped design this thing with the, the great minds over at Outcast so to just be an awesome float and fly jig. I mean, from the front of this jig all the way to the end, we really helped engineer this thing to be successful. So let's talk about this head first. Got a nice pair of oversized eyes on either side of this thing. Just kind of give the, you know, a little bit more natural look and give a strike point for the fish. Uh, so they just kind of know where to annihilate this thing. That head itself is also perfectly weighted. So when you combine a trailer on here, it's going to stay nice and horizontal. So it's great for vertically fishing this thing or fishing under, you know, a float in that float and fly jig presentation. It's just going to sit nice and, uh, Nice and horizontal there, so it's just gonna be really, really, really natural. So the hook in this thing, one out gamakatsu hook, 90 degree bend, again, that's gonna help keep things perfectly horizontal, but that hook is also just nasty sharp and still really reliable too, because it is a one out gamakatsu jig hook. You know, it's not too big or anything where it's gonna kind of overwhelm the fish, but it's really strong and sturdy, so if you do get that bruiser on there, you know this thing's not gonna bend, break, fail on you in any way, it's coming back to the boat. All right, that hook is concealed under some nice hair on here. So again, you're going to get a ton of action even when this thing's just at rest because that hair is just going to kind of flow and pulsate with the current of the water. Hand tied on there and also glued as well, so it's not going anywhere either. So if you're getting picked at by a bunch of smallmouth, it's not going to get all ripped off. Uh, under that hair is also a nice wire keeper system. So whatever trailer you do throw on there, maybe a tiny little fluke style soft jerk bait or even a little paddle tail, whatever you're putting on the back of this thing, it's going to stay nice and securely on there. So just a premium, nice float and fly jig. Only available at Tackle Warehouse for a limited time before it hits the rest of the market, so make sure to check this one out. Get your hands on it first before everyone else does. All right, let's go above the surface here. We got a new one from Fish Hammer. We got the Fish Hammer Wicked Single Bladed Buzzbait. This thing is fun. I actually took it out a few weeks ago, caught some nice fish on it. Uh, on the back here, you have a nice mustad hook, and it's really, really strong, you know, super durable. I was actually fishing this thing past some logs. I was able to drag the fish on over there. No problems at all. Didn't bend, didn't break, didn't fail on me. So it's a really nice, just sturdy buzz bait. Great for fishing around cover, you know, hard, soft vegetation. Wherever it is, around that kind of cover, you're going to be able to haul those fish away from it. The blade itself, so see it's making some contact with the arm here, so you're gonna get kind of that clacking noise to it. You can also give it a slight bend if you want, you know, kind of a more quiet, subtle, I mean, not that a buzz bait's really subtle, but if you're looking for just a little less noise, maybe something a little bit more finesse than the other buzz baits running by, you can bend that arm out a little bit there, and then it's gonna swing away from the arm itself. You're gonna get rid of that clacking sound. Nice keeled head. I was able to fish this thing really slow, still keep it up on the surface. I had a zoom uni toad on the back of this thing. Uh, so you're able to fish it really slow, still keep it up there. It's got that nice keel system to it that's gonna get it up on plane for you nice and quick. 
Already mentioned it, but it's got that razor sharp Mustad Ultra Point hook on there. And then under this premium silicone is a molded keeper system. So whether you're throwing that Zoom Uni Toad on there, works great. Or if you want to throw a Buzzin Toad or even a little Kitek or whatever your preferred paddle tail is, you can throw whatever you want on the back of this thing. It's going to get nice and pinned on there with that molded keeper system not going anywhere through those violent explosions. So cool new buzzbait. It's that time of year. Buzz baiting is awesome, fun way to fish. Make sure to add that one to your buzz bait and arsenal. All right, back under the water this time. We got a new one from Yamamoto. We got the Yamamoto Yamatanuki soft bait. So it's another kind of those heavyweight stick baits to enter the market here. Now, while this is actually new to the States and new to Tackle Warehouse, this thing is one of the original ones that's been fished in Japan for a long time and really proven successful over there. So some of the other stuff that you may have been fishing already isn't necessarily the first one. Yamamoto's not late to the game on this one. We're just now getting it over in the States. So a killer heavyweight stick bait. So poured with Yamamoto's custom heavyweight soft plastic. This thing comes in at like five eighths of an ounce. So over heavy and over a half an ounce. So you're able to cast this thing with, you know, conventional gear, kind of heavier lines. You're gonna be able to get really long bomber casts on it. You can kind of see, you know, it's pretty compact profile. So it's not really gonna catch a ton of wind either. So really, really long casts. It's gonna fall through the water column horizontally, but maybe a little bit faster than some of the other kind of stick baits on the, uh, the market there, which is great for fishing deep water. And that's what I've been really like using these things for. I've been using these for a little while too. They're great for deep water, kind of every water. I wasn't really sure where these things were gonna fit in, but I mean, I fished some channels that were, you know, 30 foot deep. You can hop it along the bottom, drag it along the bottom down there. You can flip it into shallow timber, shallow bushes, shallow stumps. It's great. It's kind of a go anywhere, do anything bait on the bank, deeper offshore structure. This kind of covers all of that. Gonna fish this one with a five aught EWG hook on there. Doesn't really need to have any weight added to it. You could add like a little bullet weight on the end of this thing for kind of a Texas rig presentation, but it's not really needed. Like I said, this thing falls through the water column pretty quick and it's got this little extra kind of nubby up top there. Uh, but Yamamoto's been putting a lot of fish in the boat for years. This one is no different. It's gonna bring a ton of bites to your rod. You definitely wanna pick this one up. All right, let's stick with some soft plastics here. We got a new one from Yum. We got the Yum Helgramite. Now this is a proven classic profile. Obviously imitates a Helgramite really, really accurately with all these kind of micro appendages on the side, the segmented body, even a pair of molded eyes up front here. Uh, but I mean, this kind of just mimics aquatic bugs, you know, nymphs in general, maybe like a little crawdad or something. It just kind of mimics a lot of things. And this thing gets a ton of bites. So great for the beginner angler, the seasoned angler as well. But I mean, this is just a good bite getting soft plastic, small mouth, large mouth, spotted bass, any predator in between there. I mean, heck, I can use this thing out in the surf here locally for some surf perch. I mean, this is another just do anything kind of bait gonna get you a lot of bites. So when the pressure's on, or maybe you're just starting out just learning, this is a good one to tie on. It's just gonna help you learn the sport a little bit and just get you, like I said, a ton of bites. Maybe when nothing else is will, nothing else is getting bites, check that one out. So drop shot for that one, or maybe perhaps a little Ned jig. This one will work well for it as well. So this is also from Yum. This is the Yum Weedless Ned jig. So another mushroom style uh, jig, this one's gonna be great. It's got a nice little wire weed guard on the front of this thing and then that wire keeper system right below it. So it's gonna pin your plastic in place and if you're fishing around, you know, kind of sparse vegetation, it'll help shed some of that vegetation. That wire collapses really easily though, so it's not gonna impede your hook set. So, you know, especially if you're fishing winter time where the bite is challenging and the bass mouths are getting kind of hard. You know, all those bites count. You wanna capitalize on them. You wanna get them back to the boat. That really sharp hook and then that weed guard on there that collapses really easily could be the difference between getting that bite or losing it. So a cool little Ned jig head, nice premium hook on the back of this one. Again, it's not gonna fail on you. So when you're looking for, I don't know, something to pair with your Helgramite or any of your favorite Ned baits, definitely give this yum one a try. It's a cool one. All right, back to plastics here. From Lunker City, we got a new one. We got the Karate Craw. So a cool little craw, great name to it. Uh, again, just a nice bite getting profile. This one's gonna be great on Carolina rig. You can absolutely use it as a jig trailer. Uh, Texas rig, it's gonna meet up really well with a bullet weight on the back of this thing here. So a nice seamless fit to it. So we'll be able to flip this one into cover, get it in, get it out, no problem at all. So I've got that nice kind of you know tapered body here that again is great for getting into and out of cover without hanging up very well. Uh, nice dense plastic to it, so it's gonna accommodate some of those bigger flipping, flipping hooks, some of those bulkier hooks out there have an aggressive keeper system on it. Not gonna tear up a ton. And then you have these claws up front that have some molded cups on them so you can get some aggressive action on it. Comes with these claws together, you can absolutely break them apart if you wanna have some independent kicking action. So you're gonna get just a ton of action out of these things, again, no matter how you're fishing it, whether that's a Carolina rig, uh, shaky head, uh, back of your favorite jig, you're gonna get a ton of action, really draw those fish in from a long way out. Great, great profile, great colors, great way to get some fun bites. We're gonna stick with Lunker City. Got a new accessory from him this time. 
This is the Wacky Nico Bait Weight. So for your favorite Wacky rigs, your favorite Nico rigs, this is gonna be a cool one to go. There's a ton of baits or a ton of weights out on the market, but I haven't seen too many with eyes molded in. So on either side, you get some eyes molded on here. So just kind of a more, I don't know, natural presentation to your bait if you wanna go with that, or just a cool strike point for the fish to focus in on. So a nice little bait. It's got uh, Lunker City's, you know, their Surehold cone system on here. So it's gonna really bite down on any of that plastic. That can be some of the problems with these weight, these solid weights. If you don't have that kind of conical or some sort of keeper system plugged into these things, on the cast, you can eject that weight and watch it sail off, which is never fun. So this one will stay firmly in your soft plastics. You can actually trim this thing up and adjust the size. Uh, it is nice though, if you're gonna use the full size because it has that point on the front, so it's gonna insert the plastic really well without tearing it up too much. And again, you just got a pair of eyes on the end of your bait too. Cool, I haven't seen that too, too much in the past. So that'll be nice for your wacky rigs and your Nico rigs as well. Definitely wanna check that one out. All right, we got some new ones from Chompers. Got another craw for you here. This is the baby craw hog from Chompers. So again, a super universally bite getting proven profile. We got that nice natural crawl look. You got a couple of pincers up front, some antennae, some appendages on the side, and then some micro ribbing on the body itself. So in addition to the action, in addition to that profile, I'm pretty sure they have a deal with Olive Garden, which is where they manufacture these things or something, because it's got a ton of garlic scent to it. So this is gonna really expand your strike zone. So when the bite is a little bit tough, that scent is really gonna help. It's gonna expand that strike zone. Like I said, call those fish in, maybe get them to hang on a little bit longer, uh, fool them a little bit better into biting. So it just gives you an extra second to get a hook in them. So it's a cool profile, a highly effective soft plastic with a ton of scent in this thing. Definitely wanna pick this one up, add it to the arsenal. Nice kind of finesse profile. It's gonna get a lot of bites. Also from Chompers, we have their uh, flipping shaky head. So kind of a hybrid between you know, like a flipping, uh, flipping bait and then a, a shaky head. So it's gonna give you that that vertical presentation on, they're gonna stand up really, really well. Got a nice molded screw lock keeper system on this, so it's gonna pin your plastics in place, and the way they have it engineered and set up, it's gonna be super, super weedless. You're gonna be able to keep the point of the hook buried in the plastic and not getting caught up on timber, on sticks, on brush, on vegetation of any kind. Uh, again, it has this really, really flat bottom that's gonna keep this thing in the upright position. So just if you're using like a crawl like we were talking about earlier, maybe that Lunker, Lunker City crawl, it's gonna keep it in that vertical position, that, that defensive uh, posture that fish really can't pass up. Nice keeper system on here, nice durable painted powder coated head so it's gonna resist chipping, last hold up that green pumpkin in this case color for a little bit longer, and then a premium VMC hook on the back. So again, sure hookups, when you got that big bruiser on the line, you know you're getting it back to the boat. So if you're just looking for kind of a different jig head, it's one to check out. All right, for my boat owners out there, we got a couple of new products. We got this first one. It's the Pro Glide Crazy Clean Wipe Down Cleaner. So just a great way, every time you get off the water, you can wipe down your boat. I mean, boat owners know there's a ton of work that uh, goes into owning a boat from, especially bass guys. I mean, we're constantly mod modifying things, you know, just trying to perfect them and enhance them any way we can. Well, this is gonna make keeping it clean just a little bit easier. So a premium cleaner system that you can use every single time you get off the water. And then we also have the Pro Glide Crazy Slick Ceramic Detailer. So this one's gonna be when you're looking for that deep clean, that nice finish on it. Just a couple of products to keep your ride looking good, running smooth, feeling good, and apparently it even smells good too. So definitely wanna check these one out. Both of them are gonna come with a handy little spray nozzle here too for easy application. So just making the task of keeping your ride nice and clean and th those glitter boats sparkling real well, I mean, they're just gonna make it a little bit easier for us. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up this week's episode of What's New at Tackle Warehouse. As always, thank you for tuning in and checking out these products. And as always, to learn more about them, make sure to click the link in the description. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see a ton more like it, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and let us know in the comments below which one of these baits or cleaning products you're most excited to use this season. All right, we'll see you all next week.